We want to continue our coverage on these protests. At least 57 people got booked into jail after Texas State Troopers responded to the UT campus on Wednesday for protests. These are all new numbers coming in today from the Travis County Sheriff's Office. And we're actually just now getting word from the county attorney's office who says they have dropped some of these cases. Her office said in a statement to KXAN that they individually reviewed each case and they found some problems with the probable cause affidavits filed in the arrest against some of these protesters. But all morning, our Dylan McKim was watching as some of these students who had been booked into jail were getting released. And so we do want to go out to Dylan. Dylan, what are you seeing right now as we get later into the afternoon. Hey. Yeah, hey, yeah, Avery and Will, we still have a few dozen people that are out here uh, waiting around the front entrance of the Travis County Jail. Not as rowdy as we saw this morning where they were chanting and, uh, and you know, and cheering a lot this morning as people were being released. They are still seeing people released and they're welcomed with some cheers uh, from the crowd behind me. There have been 59 people released from jail this morning. That's a, according to one of the organizers here. They tell me they're still waiting for 16 more people to be released. Uh, I, I I spoke to a few of those people who were released earlier this morning and they took the opportunity to sound off on what they thought of the police response from yesterday. This morning, friends reunited after those arrested at protests Wednesday released from the Travis County Jail. APD, let them out! APD, let them out! Oh my God. Okay, yeah. Go. Robert Heil waited outside the jail for hours for this moment, embracing his daughter who was arrested. He watched the protests play out from home. Stunned, you know, seeing the state police marching in the full riot gear. A longtime Austinite, he was upset seeing the response from law enforcement. And I've seen a lot of uh, protests in Austin over those years, and I've never seen as heavy handed of a uh, response from the state police. They were pushing us backwards and literally tripping us. Like Heil's daughter, Lena Wynn is a freshman at UT. She also is upset with law enforcement's response. This video shows her being pulled away from the crowd of protesters and arrested. She, like every person we spoke to today that was arrested, claimed law enforcement never told them to disperse. Instead, just to... Just telling us to back up, back up, and we were like, we are backing up, we are backing up. But then we were like, there's people behind us and our arms are locked, like we cannot move. Like. It's a dangerous situation. Stampedes happen all the time, and those really do hurt people. And Avery, you mentioned just earlier that the uh, the message and the response from Travis County, the Travis County Attorney's Office, to drop some of these charges. Uh, a few people we did speak with today said that their charges were rejected, uh, but there are still some that said they were charged with criminal trespass. They have a court date coming up here in May. Reporting live here in downtown, Dylan McKim, KXAN News. Dylan, thank you so much for tracking it for us. We know this is still developing and you'll be out there giving us the latest updates. We did